Here we go. 11, 11, 11. Shot! Come on, right? 
go. Here we go. Whoa, whoa.
as far as home field advantages go in the playoffs, there are few places tougher on a visiting team than this one. Sold out in Power Field at Mile High in Denver. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. It's a trip to sunny Arizona for Super Bowl 57. The AFC title game is underway. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. now Wilson got his man it's Williams they'll wind up getting seven on the play and it'll be second down it's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game but in this case they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game second down and three touch Missy, touch Missy. From the gun, it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Wilson now to throw on third down. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. He's got room at the 30. Down the sideline he goes. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot at the big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. I'm 
Andre. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Burrow on play action. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate, that was just incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Burrow throw. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 30-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. Down to about the 22 here. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Once again, they run with Mixon. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Burrow looking to pass. And he'll throw this one away, but I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle. And then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. play now in this AFC championship third and goal now Burrow and it's intercepted at the goal line picked off by Justin Simmons and the Broncos are going to take over here on the INT at their own five yard line describe it because that was absolutely just gut wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. 
On second and seven, Wilson. That's complete. It's Oku Abernum. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. reading four we're going to get a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter now Wilson on first down man open he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton and he'll be corralled right around the 34 from the 34 now here's first and 10 now it's Wilson Open man, and again it's Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 46. Up the middle, it's Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Wilson. Flushed out right. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 25-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And here's a quick throw to Hamler on the edge. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. And he'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Throwing again here, Wilson. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Fourth down, Wilson trots off, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. So on fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and the field goal unit for the Broncos. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Bengals drive about to get going. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone from the shotgun Joe Burrow and it's caught touchdown Bengals Tyler Boyd from 19 yards away and the Bengals have cut it back within a score 
The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time, and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. To throw is Wilson. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. There's Wilson to throw. Got a man open, it's Sutton. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Body, 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 body. To throw again on second down, Wilson. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Broncos would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point from McManus is good. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken from about the 12. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here on target to Hurst. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the end line. So it'll come out to the 25. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Second and six just inside the 30. 
Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Being chased out left. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And they go play action now. Burrow. On the run. He'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I'll give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Try and throw forward with Burrow. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Burrow. Dumps it off to Mixon. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Pass thrown right back to Joe Mixon. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Joe a first and 10 now in Denver territory right at the 40. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Here we go, here we go. Now Burrow on first down. He gets this one to Boyd. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Burrow looking to pass. To mix it on the check down. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Got a man, it's Chase. He completes it. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Jamar Chase from 19 yards away. And the Bengals are back within a score. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And a fair catch, single four, and taken successfully. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. The Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Play action. Now Wilson. 
A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. They lose the yardage, and, of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down just shy of 45. Give him eight, maybe nine, but they're still left with a third and long upcoming. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Broncos on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and 14. Here's Wilson. And that's caught at the 25. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. They're going to take this to about the 10-yard line. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give him credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Williams will score. Touchdown, Broncos. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team is playing, to me, what I've seen, they also deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Here we go. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. And it's a room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Looking deep downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. With how the coverage was positioned, up was about the only spot the quarterback had to try and deliver that pass. Just put a little too much height on it. Incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action. It's Burrow. He's going to go up top again. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Hayden Hurst, 48 yards. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And the Broncos are going to get the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. tell you far from ideal conditions to play in but neither offense has had much trouble plenty of points to go around first and ten play action it's Wilson and that'll be incomplete that certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down second and short I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. I see the surprise in your face there, Parker. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On third down, Wilson. Man open left side. It's Williams. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. They certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Wilson wants to throw it. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. 
Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As he'll get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Wilson to throw. This will be caught. Judy. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. take it all the way down and just take the delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So here now is Brandon McManus in a big spot. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by McManus is good, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. tight end Drew Sample. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. to throw Burrow. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And he's in for the touchdown. And barring a miracle, the extra point can win this football game. We all knew the situation. We're in the fourth quarter. Who's going to step up and make the big play? Well, we just saw it, didn't we? Took their shot, downfield, got it. And now they're in a great position to take the lead. A very important extra point there, up and good. And that might be enough to win them the football game as they now take the lead in the final seconds. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Solid gain of 18 yards and a Denver first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Okay, okay, 
One last shot for Wilson. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. The Bengals, yes, the Bengals are going to the Super Bowl as we say thank you for watching and good night.